If you're looking for instant and cheap Madden Ultimate Team coins, make sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com and use the discount code RBT for 10% off your purchase. Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, coming at you with the next episode of Vix Vengeance today. And I do want to start off the episode by apologizing that it's been a couple days since Monday I have uploaded the recent episode of Vix Vengeance. And truthfully, guys, my internet has been so messed up that I haven't even wanted to attempt to record a video because it's literally impossible and ruins the video, just the quality of the video in general when I play in lag. So hopefully it's okay. It's still kind of messed up, but we'll have to see how the gameplay is. Hopefully it's good enough to be a quality video. But if you guys are excited that the series is back, let me know by dropping a like, guys. And if we get a thousand likes on this episode, that would be amazing. But if you missed the previous episode, this is how the team ended up. Very excited about this D'Anthony Thomas on offense. We actually have a good running back now, although I don't necessarily run the ball that much. And we have some big upgrades defensively as well. We got probably, I think, our most expensive upgrade of all time in this 99 Darrell Revis. Who did actually get beat. If you missed my punter at quarterback challenge video uploaded yesterday, I played with this team. And he got beat pretty bad a couple times. So hopefully it's uh, not going to be the case in today's episode. And with that said, let's jump into a game. And hopefully go through the first episode where we win both games. Well, I guess the teams you come up against at 7 a.m. are uh, normally pretty good. Because this guy's got a pretty good god dang team. Yep, very good. Oh my... Look who he has! I'm trying now, Sean, right off the bat, guys. I, I just want to try it, and I want it to work really bad. He's got a one-on-one, -on -one, and he makes the catch! His user is not as good as my user. Actually, it probably is better, but it's just aggressive catching. It's a little bit OP in this game. Well, already a third down after that long play. Let's see how this goes. Kobe Fleener, I thought was going to be open. We're going to scramble with Michael Vick. He's going to get the first down. Slide, Michael. Don't fumble, please, dear God. We get the first big play from the big boy, Mike. Time to be great right here, boys. Let's throw this one to Devin Funches. Can he run upfield? He gets close to the first down. We're actually going to go hurry up. And as always, as I always say, keeping it here, keeping it live. Keeping it 100 because we're going to hit either Kobe Fleener or Devin Funches once again, eventually. Let's see if we can pick this up. We're going to hit Devin Funches again. Don't drop it. Don't get big hit. Down to the one-yard line. Let's go. Not doing anything dumb. Just your regular fullback dive up the middle. It's one upgrade, but I will take the lead. 7-0. A very good drive to start off this game against a very good team. This is going to be a play-action pass right here, guys. Nobody's going to be open. He's still in that deep. Come on, Griffin. Come on, Michael Griffin. No! Calvin Johnson. And somehow we get a big goal line stand. He has good receivers. He might just throw fade routes, and it's probably going to work in his favor. Probably definitely going to work in his favor. He's scrambling here. Has a wide open tight end. That's a touchdown tie game. Our defense just got wrecked. Well, very bad field position, and it's already a third down and 10. We got to get a big play right here. See if we can get somebody open. You know what? Alshon Jeffrey's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. I saw that he has a user. That's Alshon. He oh, dude, it hit off his god dang elbow. Trying some deep zone here on this play. Action pass. He's going to throw it one-on-one. -on -one. Come on, Gilbert. Come on, Gilbert. Oh, he gets a pick. Let's go. Let's go. I thought Calvin Johnson caught that. We actually picked off a one-on-one -on -one situation against the GOAT, Calvin Johnson. Let's see if we can make the most of that interception. We need to pick up this third down right here. And we're gonna not we're gonna get hit. We're gonna freaking hit, man. Another big third down right here, boys. Let's see if we can get the stop. He's running a screen pass. I'm gonna be all over it with Ray Lewis, and we're not gonna get it. Can you No dude? God uh. Oh, oh, yay, 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 happy, happy, happy. This defense is just too good. I'm not finding anybody open, and we're going to have Langford, though. Please, Langford, make this catch. Langford on the run. The bronze with the catch. Big play. Langford again. Same exact play. Langford makes another catch. If he keeps giving me the zone, I'm going to keep throwing it right there. Same exact play. He's just leaving me wide open. Langford, come on. The bronze just freaking killing this drive. Third down and three. I really want to tie the game on this drive, and let's see if we can do it right here. D'Anthony Thomas out of the backfield. Cut inside. Cut inside. That's going to be very, very close to the first down. All we need is an inch. All we need is an inch. Come on, Michael Vick. And he gets it. Nice job. Let's see how clutch I actually am right here, guys. I should have thrown that to Fleener. I should have thrown that to somebody. Come on. I just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm bad. I'm just bad. I'm all over that this time, boy. I'm all over that. This time, somebody... Are you just absolutely just licking my dick, dude? Know exactly what play is coming. Wide corner route is coming, and he's going to have the guy out. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He did. Well, 
A wide open touchdown. Just look at the receivers that are on the field right now. We have our fullback, our backup running back, our tight end. I don't even know who Brown is. And then D'Anthony Thomas split out wide. Very, very, very confident in our ability right here. And we get sacked. Just brilliant. Not liking my chances at all here. Although D'Anthony Thomas is open. The shorty makes the catch down to the 20. Third and eight. Can we pick up another big third down on this drive right here? We're going to throw it to Y. Cyrus Gray. He's going to be like an inch short, I think, or maybe he got it. Another third down. I do not want to settle for another field goal, and I'm not going to because Devin Funt is going to catch this go upfield, and he's going to be like a yard short. Fullback dive because I want to make sure I score. He's offsides anyway. We get the touchdown. I'm going to go for two to try to go down by a field goal. Oh, my God. I accepted the penalty by accident. I accepted the penalty by accident. Oh, my God. I think he's going to let me score anyway. That's, that's just brilliant absolutely brilliant but once again same exact play now this time we're gonna go for two. Oh, we're gonna have the scramble i have the scramble we're down by three points we need one defensive stop boys oh here we go biggest play of the game right here biggest play nobody's open he's oh you effing me in the bum hole how did he get so god dang open this guy is actually a fan of the channel I turn because he's been talking the whole game and I wanted to see what he was saying and he's is a fan of the channel So I do appreciate it Jacob, but I wish you weren't beating me like this. I really wish you weren't Um, you know what Langford is the move again. Can you make the catch and stride? Why is Langford in there not? Oh, he this cornerback front of the route better than my receiver F That messed me up mentally anyway because I was gonna throw it deep to Alshon see how it went and I looked over at my split receiver, and Alshon Jeffrey wasn't there. Freaking Abron's Langford was there. Literally, the only chance we have remaining in this game is to get this stop. And it's a pretty big freaking play. That's not what I expected. Come on, Griffin. My, I'm an imbecile. I'm an absolute... Oh, that's not what I expected at all, man. Every time I talk about this bubble pop, not knowing necessarily what it is, it works for me. So we're going to throw it to Gray just because, and it works every time. Not the actual what you're supposed to be doing with the play. It works the post route. We're actually going to throw a touchdown pass. Miracles do happen. Literally for no reason, I'm going for this. Honestly, no reason. Cyrus Gray. Cyrus Gray inside makes the catch. It's a nine-point game. But there's no chance. Well, that's going to do it. We lose 35-26. Our defense just couldn't make big plays. We had, like, big third downs that if we did actually stop them, we would have had a chance to come back. But we couldn't. We just couldn't. We're just not making the plays we need to win, which sucks because what do we want? Have we even really won a legitimate game yet in the series? But all we can do is keep trying to improve the team and see if eventually something will click and we can start winning games. So the 300 total yards for Michael Vick does count as three upgrades. He didn't have enough rushing yards to make it 400 total yards. He had only 13 yards rushing, I believe. Then the one touchdown brings us up to five upgrades. The interception brings us back down to four. And then we did, in fact, have two rushing touchdowns with our fullback. So that actually makes six upgrades for this game. So I'm pretty sure at this point, it's obvious we need to be focusing our attention on the defense and not the offense because the offense is scoring points. We're just not getting the stops that we need defensively. And they're scoring a ton of points against us. So we're going to focus all six of our upgrades on defense for the first game of this episode. First of all, we're going to use one upgrade at the left outside linebacker position to go from a silver to a gold. We're going to upgrade to a very good base gold linebacker. That is Bruce Irvin. If you missed my last squad builder battle episode, be sure to go check that out because something crazy happened when it comes to Bruce Irvin. But if you look at his stats, even his base card is pretty insane. 88 speed, 86 hit power, 95 pursuit. I expect him to be a huge, huge upgrade from that silver linebacker that we did have. Next of all, we're going to use one upgrade at the defensive end position, the left end position that is, and go from this guy, Malachi Goodman, to the silver that is the defensive end that is probably way down here in my item binder, and it is going to be, oh my, should I use him? Should I use Mario Edwards or Jack Crawford, that is? Actually, I can't use Jack Crawford. I can use Mario Edwards, though. Should I do it? I did not know he was in here. I know he's a right end. I was actually going to go to Jake Bequette. Let's check out their stats really quick. Yeah, he's a lot better. We'll just go with Mario Edwards. He has the right chemistry. He was sitting here chilling in my item binder. And, yeah, so that was kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing. So, welcome to the team, Mario Edwards Jr. Looks pretty good. 
And with that said, guys, we have four upgrades left. We're going to put them all into the free safety position. Four upgrades will go from a silver to a gold, from a gold to an elite under 50k, to an elite over 50k, to an elite over 100k. And we're going to get a boss, a boss in the team. That is 99 overall, Ed Reed. Has the run stuff chemistry style, and he has some very, very, very good stats. Our second boss raven in this team actually it's an ultimate legend i don't know why i keep saying boss 99 zone coverage with decent man good man coverage for a safety that's for sure good hit power good play wreck good speed good acceleration like i said that is our second raven legend in this team i might need to go ahead and just do a past and present ravens team because we had some pretty good ravens players already in the item binder but with that said guys we're gonna hop into the second game of this episode hopefully i can save the episode by getting a win, well not necessarily your ideal start to a game, but we have a third down and 10 right here. And who's the move going to be? B's going to be the move. He's going to make the catch. Alshon Jeffrey cut inside, make the move, down to the 40. Well, almost immediately another third down. So let's see how this one goes. We're going to scramble. Oh God, they're going to get sacked. Julius. King Pepper. Like, I honestly just really don't understand some people's mentality when it comes to life in general. But it is what it is, I suppose. He's going to have his tight end open. He's running slants. And we knocked it down somehow. We had a chance to get three straight interceptions, but we had the ball at 31. So no complaints from me, I guess. Anthony Thomas, can we get the blocks? Can we get the blocks? Go back in. D'Anthony! D'Anthony! D'Anthony Thomas, the GOAT! D'Anthony Thomas knocked it out of bounds. Oh, God. Julius! peppers all i know is taylor decker is getting absolutely destroyed but we do score a touchdown two upgrades for the touchdown pass i might though need to look into upgrading taylor decker and upgrading the right tackle to elite because he's just getting demolished by julius peppers this game third and 20 if he somehow converts this i might be a little salty i'm right there and we just can't pick the ball off well this is very very interesting if he okay that was kind of a Kind of a dumb decision. D'Anthony Thomas, one cut inside. D'Anthony Thomas to the house. We go up 14-0. That's one upgrade for the D'Anthony Thomas. Touchdown run. So it looks like he went in and changed his quarterback and running back. He has Phillip Rivers and Giovanni Bernard now. Ray Lewis isn't fast enough to get there, but we do get to stop. It's going to be a third. Fourth down and four. He's going for it like he does all the time. He has a running back that was open. He throws it to the outside route, and he's going to get the catch. Drell Rivas couldn't play man. Third down and four. Make sure we cover this underneath route. He has a tight end wide open. Who was that trying to cover? Was that Xavier Rhodes? I definitely was using the wrong man on this play in Benjamin Watson. I think that is makes the catch. Oh, Lord. If we can somehow escape this without giving up a touchdown or anything, that would be brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And he has a guy over the middle for a touchdown. Come on, somebody make a pick. Are you okay? Not showing you this a lot in this game, but this guy's honestly chunked the ball about a hundred times deep in like 500 man coverage and nobody can catch the freaking ball it's like a god dang curse it's like a god dang curse it's philip rivers has completely turned this game around so, what he, did, he didn't even turn like my, my corners and my secondary is just brain dead this game i've yet to really blitz this game let's see if this somehow can get in his head maybe we can force a bad throw and he has a guy open on the out route darrell revis that's like the third time he's been beat it's like this guy changed users, honestly. Like, this guy I thought was, was going to beat like 100 nothing, and now it is tied. Oh, God, that's going to be... I thought that was going to... No, 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 no. Screw that, dude. We... we what is Bakari Rambo doing, dude? What the... What has happened to my team? Alshon Jeffrey, please, dear God, catch this in stride. Alshon Jeffrey, that's a touchdown 100% deserved. And you know what? I don't think I've done this in the series. I'm going for two. I want to take the lead because I deserve the lead, honestly. But here we go. Here we go. De'Anthony Thomas over the middle. He gets the two-point conversion. We go up on top. Play of the game right here, guys. Play of the freaking game. He throws that deep. If he catches this, I'm going to be pissed. And he does not. Like I said, he's probably thrown that up like 7,000 times. We've never got a pick. But honestly, I'm glad we didn't get the pick there because we had the ball at the 27-yard line. And he quits. 
Which sucks, I don't know how many upgrades we have. I'm gonna try my best to count the upgrades here, and it's gonna be hard because I'm not sure of the official stats, but I'm pretty sure Michael Vick had over 200 yards, which makes two upgrades. He had two touchdowns passing, which brings him up to six. We had one rushing touchdown from Anthony Thomas, which makes seven upgrades. We got the win, which makes eight. The Rage Quit makes 9, and then we actually avoided level demotion with this win, which counts as an upgrade, so we actually get 10 upgrades to finish off the episode, which I'll definitely take it. So with the first of our 10 upgrades from the last game of this episode, we're going to go ahead and take out the last silver player from the offensive line, use one upgrade to go to a gold right guard, and that's going to be... Actually, it was going to be... I need to start checking my item binder. I was going to go to this guy, Asamoah, who I just bought, but... We're actually going to go with Chance Wormack. He's a Titan, has the right chemistry style, a high overall, so it makes sense to go with Chance Wormack right there. Now, this is going to be our biggest upgrade at the tight end position. and go ahead and lock it in for the rest of the series. Four upgrades we're going to use right here to go from a gold to elite under 50k, to elite over 50k, to elite over 100k, to elite over 200k, and I got this guy for like 203,000 coins, and it's going to be... Ultimate Legend Rob Gronkowski with 100 catch in traffic. About as close as a player as you'll get to Calvin Johnson at tight end position. Just absolutely amazing. And we're going to be throwing the ball to him a lot. But with that said, we can keep Kobe Fleener in the team. He was just dropping a lot of passes. Probably didn't see it in the editing of the videos, but he's been dropping a lot of passes. So I wanted to go ahead and get a better tight end. And we can go ahead and put him at the number two position when it comes to the tight end because it's how it works when we go to an elite player. And now moving on to defense as that was our last offensive upgrade for the episode. Let's go ahead and go to the defensive tackle number one position. We're actually going to upgrade both the defensive tackle number one and number two positions. Both using two upgrades at each from a bronze to a silver, from a silver to a gold. And we're going to go to the gold defensive tackle right here. That is 84 overall breast cancer awareness Devon Steele. Everything's better aside from his finesse move, which I guess really doesn't matter for a defensive tackle. 23 overall upgrade should be a pretty big upgrade. And then for the defensive tackle number two position, once again, two upgrades to go to a gold defensive tackle, as you probably just saw. The goal that is Danny Shelton most feared. He looks like the perfect defensive tackle to run in goal line formations, which, like I say all the time, is the only time I ever come out into defensive tackle formations. And for our last upgrade to finish off the episode, to go to a gold cornerback at the cornerback number three position, because I believe the reason the guy had so much success is because he kept pausing the game. I think he was looking at my depth chart, and he saw that my third cornerback was awful. And once he started spreading out more and bringing more wide receivers in the field, he was abusing Sharice Wright. So he was not good. And I think it was a big reason that guy almost came back and beat me. But that one upgrade will bring us to a gold cornerback that is going to be David Emerson's Road to the Playoff card, which his cover stats are so much better. So hopefully he does play a lot better than Sharice Wright in this series. But with that said, guys, that's going to do it for the upgrades. And that's going to do it for this episode of Vix Vengeance. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and if you did, make sure to drop a like. Let me know where you think I need to use my upgrades next in the series in the next episode, which probably will be coming out Monday. But with that said, guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.